Always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Conditions will gradually be improving here over the next couple of days. Road crews are continuing to dig us all out from the monster snow event that we've experienced over the last several days. It is currently 516 in the morning, and as you can see, it's still a little bit breezy, but great visibility from down to, from uh, Lake Makatawa in Holland to Allendale on the GBSU campus. As we uh, check out conditions today, it'll be another mostly cloudy day. Optimistic that we might see a few sunny breaks here and there, which would be a nice treat. We really have had a huge sunshine deficit this entire month. Breezy conditions as a clipper system rolls by just off to our north. And today the big story really improving road conditions. Road crews now able to tackle those neighborhood streets, the secondary and side roads, subdivisions, those sorts of things. So uh, if you haven't seen a plow where you live yet, I think you're probably going to see one today. And if you don't see it today, for sure you'll see one tomorrow. The warming trend that we are advertising will come with widespread fog and rain showers. And so we could be looking at some significant visibility issues developing especially as we head through the day on Thursday. Here's a look at over downtown Grand Rapids, US 131 and the Ford Freeway interchange. Temperatures over the next several days warming up nicely, not just in terms of those daytime highs, but boy, even early morning lows will be well above the freezing mark. Precip chances, well, will be dry today and tomorrow. Precip does roll in starting Thursday. It'll likely be rain. With so much snow on the ground, the ground is so cold, I'm a little concerned, quite honestly, that it could begin as freezing rain on Thursday as that precipitation develops. So that will be a day we have to be very careful if you do have travel plans and also the potential for the fog to, to develop and really thicken up very quickly. By Friday and Saturday, widespread rain shower chances and temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. So that New Year's Eve celebration likely have to uh, plan to take along that umbrella wherever you might be heading. By New Year's Day on Sunday, we've got that drier air that really starts to build back in, but the unseasonably warm air is going to stick around. So so temps in the teens this morning, we've got winds out of the southwest sustained about 5 to 15 miles per hour, and those wind chills are well in the positive territory in the single digits to low teens. Flurry or two, not impossible today, but for the most part, really looking at quiet and dry conditions today. The slow pressure center continues to roll off to the east. We're watching this clipper system off to the northwest, and what that one is going to do is produce some light snow or wintry mix across northern lower Michigan and the UP, and for us, it will work to increase our cloud cover. We'll see mostly cloudy in increase our winds. Overall, we'll see mostly cloudy skies over the next couple of days, the fog and the rain developing with that even warmer air building in starting Thursday, and then the rest of that eight-day forecast will show highs well into the 40s. What a way to kick off the brand new year as we look at uh, certainly melting down almost all of that snowpack. So we go from one extreme to the other with those temperatures. The 8 to 14 day outlook suggests we could see uh, several days with highs in the 50s early in January.